हेलो एवरी वन वी आर द फर्स्ट इयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ जी पुलारेडी डेंटल कॉलेज इन हॉस्पिटल कर्नूल एंड वी आर एक्साइटेड टू टेक यू थ्रू इन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन ऑर्थोडॉन्टिक्स द बेक ऑर्थोडॉन्टिक थियरी एंड टेक्निक इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वील बी डिस्कसिंग द बेक ऑर्थोडॉन्टिक अप्लायसेस अक्रॉस थ्री स्टेजेस दैट इज स्टेज वन स्टेज टू एंड स्टेज थ्री एंड द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन दीज थ्री स्टेजेस हेयर इज एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ वॉट वील बी कवरिंग इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन differences between the stages which include objectives arch wire and its function arch form lock pins anchorage bends auxiliaries used main movement and the final outcome let us start by first understanding the objectives in stage 1 the objectives are aligning and leveling of the teeth correction of anterior deep bite correction of crowding correction of lingually locked and vertically displaced teeth correction of rotated cuspids and bicuspids and the closure of anterior spaces in stage 2 the objectives are closure of extraction spaces and the maintenance of all the corrections achieved during the stage 1 similarly in stage 3 the objectives are maintenance of all the corrections achieved during stage 1 and stage 2 and mesio distal uprighting of the teeth time required for each stage stage 1 requires approximately 4 to 8 months whereas stage 2 takes about 2 to 4 months and stage 3 usually requires 6 to 9 months let us discuss the arch wire and its function in stage 1 o16 inch arch wire is used the main functions are to relieve crowding to align and level the anterior teeth to correct anterior deep bite and to correct the rotations in stage 2 o20 inch arch wire is used the main functions are to maintain all the corrections achieved during stage 1 and to stabilize the teeth against any adverse reciprocal forces that may occur as a result of application of elastics or auxiliaries similarly in stage 3 O20 inch arch wire is used and its main function is to maintain all the corrections achieved during the stage 1 and the stage 2 next moving on to the arch form in stage 1 the arch wire is incorporated with vertical loops intermaxillary hooks and molar anchorage bends and offset bends are also given to bypass the second premolars these bicuspid offsets located between the cuspid and the bicuspid bracket areas help to maintain the proper buccolingual relationship between these two teeth in stage 2 toin bends are given at the distal ends of the arch wire what are these toin bends toin or toe out bends or horizontal offset bends that are often combined with anchor bends after insertion these two in or toe out bends exerts light force so that molars tend to rotate and the wire in the molar tube gradually becomes parallel these bends prevents rotation of molars due to elastic force so to prevent molars from rotating the distal ends of the arch wires can be given a slight toe in bend if still rotation of molar is not correcting there are other measures which can be taken the horizontal elastics can be engaged on the lingual hooks rather than on buccal hooks and another way is to tie an elastic ligature thread from lingual button on the cuspid to the lingual hook or button on the molar and in stage 3 molar offset bends are given in the maxillary arch wire the distal ends are slightly constricted to counteract the widening effect which will be caused by the maxillary torquing auxiliary on the other hand in the mandibular arch wire a slight expansion is applied at the distal ends this expansion is necessary to counteract the lingual tipping tendency of the anchor molars that is often caused by the use of class 2 elastics next coming to the lock pins used in each stage in stage 1 one, one point safety lock pin is used shoulder on the labial surface of the head strikes bracket to prevent impingement of pin onto the arch wire In stage 2 second stage safety lock pin is used it has narrower labiolingual body which permits brackets to tip freely onto the 
larger arch wires. In stage 3, hook type of lock pin is used. It is used on all the teeth that does not require mesiodistal uprighting. It assures positive locking of talking auxiliary and main arch wire. Moving on to the anchorage bends. In stage 1, anchorage bend is placed at mesial to the first molar. It preserves molar anchorage and open deep anterior overbites, so also called as bite opening bends. And in stage 2, a reduced anchorage bend is given because all the corrections have already taken place and need only to be maintained and also heavier wire delivers more force when activated to the same degree as a lighter wire. So, reduced anchorage bend is given in stage 2. Similarly, in stage 3, a small anchorage bend is given or if not necessary, then the anchorage bend can be removed. Coming to the auxiliaries used in three stages. In stage 1, the rotation spring offers a positive and rapid means of rotating teeth. Engagement of the rotating lever arm of the spring on the arch wire establishes a two-point contact between the tooth and the arch wire. This arrangement can restrict free mesiodistal tipping of the tooth. Therefore, rotation springs should not be used for long periods of time on the teeth, which requires freedom to tip mesiodistally. Coming to the elastic threads, for a distally rotated cuspid, to correct the rotation, the brackets on the rotated cuspids and bicuspids are placed off-center to provide a means of holding the over-rotation by arch-wire engagement when possible. The elastic rotational tie on the cuspid has a narrowing effect on the distal end of the arch-wire. So, in order to counteract this, increase in the posterior arch width is necessary. And coming to the elastics, the elastics are engaged around the distal of the mandibular molar tubes or around special molar hooks provided, then stretched anteriorly to engage the maxillary intermaxillary hooks mesial to the maxillary cuspid brackets. If the malocclusion is of the class 3 type, the elastics are worn from the maxillary molars to the intermaxillary hooks mesial to the mandibular cuspid brackets. And no horizontal elastics are applied during the first stage of the treatment. And next coming to the auxiliaries, sometimes used during stage 2. They are passive mesiodistal uprighting springs on mandibular canines and anterior breaking arches. Their main function is to establish a two-point contact between the teeth and the arch wire to prevent free tipping. These auxiliaries may be used separately or together. Once teeth are no longer free to tip, they begin to function as anchor teeth. Sometimes it is desirable to stop the distal tipping of the anterior teeth and move the molars mesially. These passive springs or breaking auxiliaries establish anterior anchorage mechanics. But these are rarely used by experienced orthodontists because they appreciate that usually the lower anterior teeth must be tipped to the lingual to prevent their being positioned too far labially as a result of the loss of anchorage that normally occurs during stage 3. Next coming to the auxiliaries used in stage 3. They are force per torquing auxiliary and mesiodistal uprighting springs. These torquing auxiliaries provide lingual root torque to the maxillary anterior teeth to correct their root positions. Earlier, torquing spurs were introduced into the main arch, but now they are bent into light auxiliary wire with woven 4 or woven 6 inch arch wire. And also, force per torquing auxiliary is most widely used. Coming to the mesiodistal uprighting springs, they are self retaining and minimizing the interference with the adjacent teeth and spring pins are used in order to avoid the displacement of the bracket. And moving on to the main movement that occur in each stage. In stage 1, the main movement is crown tipping and the rotation correction whereas in stage 2, it is crown tipping and in stage 3, it mainly focuses on the root movement. Next, moving on to the final outcome. In stage 1, teeth are aligned in the arch and there will be an edge to edge anterior bite and in stage 2 all the spaces gets closed and in stage 3 an ideal occlusion will be obtained. This is the overview of all the features of the three stages and the comparison between the 
स्टेज वन स्टेज टू एंड स्टेज थ्री थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द बेग ऑर्थोडोंटिक थियरी एंड टेक्निक इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो